When we're going through a journey like this, it's so important that we have a number of tools, strategies and people that we can rely on to give us that resilience that we need. And I would suggest to anyone who is embarking on a journey to think about this well in advance, to try and prepare yourself and equip yourself with ways that suit you to be able to cope with the emotional turmoil that is inevitably going to come think about maybe having a coach, a counsellor, a service, networks, people um, that can all be called upon as and when you need them individually or together. There isn't one answer suits everybody, there isn't one tool for all, but it's about trying different things, seeing what works for you and you might well need different services at different times in your journey. I, for example, I'm a coach. I work with people emotionally to build their resilience, to teach them and support them with tools and strategies to be able to cope with these things that could come up during your journey and to prepare in advance for it. A really good support network. I was offered counselling, which is like standard at the clinic, but I didn't, I didn't take it. I just, I don't know. I just th thought at the time that counselling wasn't really for me. Um, now I know that like fertility coaches exist. I know now that kind of that's, and I'm not just saying it because I am a fertility coach, but it kind of, I think that would have suited me better you know, in terms of meeting me where I was at and looking at the future instead of speaking about what's happened. I really needed that kind of focus going forward, really. And I also had um, acupuncture. So I uh, struck up a real close relationship with my acupuncturist who was just absolutely amazing. And I definitely believe that she, well, the work that she did made the difference on that round as well. A lot of people find it really difficult to talk about their fertility journey, which is understandable. It is, for a lot of people, quite a private thing. But I think it's important to have a plan, to think ahead about who you want to talk to your journey about and to discuss that with your partner, because it isn't just you going through this journey. And to think about who you're saying what to. So it's not about divulging everything about your journey to somebody you do, who maybe your partner doesn't want to know how it affects them or the impact they could have on your relationship. Think about how the person that you're going to talk to is also going to feel. Every person that you speak to will, I hope, be sympathetic and understanding. But they might also have questions and they might want to ask you things. But you need to think to yourself how much you are prepared to divulge. How much are you comfortable with? Think about where you have these conversations and when. The time and the place is important. Think about the privacy element and how comfortable you are in those surroundings. And to have boundaries. So at any point you can say, I actually don't feel I wish to talk about this in a minute or I don't want to tell you that much. You know, can I come back to you? If they ask you a question, it's okay to say, I don't know the answer. I can't give you the answer and I don't know where this journey's going. My husband, we're very much in it together. It does take a, a toll on your relationship because, you know, it, it always feels like there is something missing, not out of your relationship, but out of your life. You know, you want it so badly. Um, but, you know, for me and my husband, we weren't married at the time. It, it really brought us closer together. So we were really lucky with that. 
I had amazing friends, a really close group of girlfriends who were just absolutely rooting for me. Uh, so I had them to speak to. Uh, my mum was, you know, she knew about it and she was really supportive. And, you know, every kind of heartbreak that I had, she felt it too. And so, yeah, I had a good support network. And at the time as well, I was working full time and I had a really supportive boss, which makes all the difference, you know time off for appointments when you're not feeling too good you know all those kinds of things don't be afraid to hold the conversation and say you'd like to come back to it another time but by divulging your journey or sharing your journey with your family or friends, take this as an opportunity to ask for support. And if you feel able, give them some advice. Tell them how they can help you. What can they do? Because often when people are told something like this, as much as they want to help, they don't know how to. So you help them. We're all different. Tell them what would be helpful to you. And I'm sure that they would appreciate that. And this knowing about your journey will also help them to understand how maybe when you're putting boundaries in place and you don't go to an event or you you don't attend a family gathering or you specifically don't want to talk about certain aspects of your private life your family and friends will be much more understanding and mindful of that It's a very private journey and it's obviously up to people who they want to share that with but it is good to have somebody even if it's just one person to speak with um, and holistic therapies as well are just are really good at calming you know your nervous system down and calming you down full stop but they can be really helpful when it comes to fertility.